Are you looking for the best auto-leveling 3D printers? In this video, we will look at some of the 4 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at Number 1. Flashforge Adventurer Lite. Like its beginner-friendly predecessor, the Flashforge Adventurer 3, the Adventurer Lite is targeted at students and teachers. This affordable 3D printer is compact and boasts a fully enclosed build area for safety. It also checks all the boxes as far as major features are concerned and deliver optimally with good quality print for its price point. As the name implies, the Flashforge Adventurer Lite is the cheaper alternative to the full-featured Adventurer 3 from Flashforge. The truth is, both units are essentially the same as far as their core features go. However, as expected, there are some feature limitations with this light version. For instance, it does not have an integrated webcam for monitoring your prints remotely. It also lacks a filament runout sensor. Except for these features, the Adventurer Lite is the alternative to go for if you're interested in buying an Adventurer 3 printer but can't afford to pay the full price for it. At Number 2. Flashforge Adventurer 3. The Flashforge Adventurer 3 is a compact desktop FDM slash FFF printer. The fully enclosed printer is the first product in the company's Adventurer series and is targeted specifically for educational purposes. Due to this reason, many of the unit's key features such as the removable print bed, built-in camera, and automated filament feeding mechanism are focused more on usability. Hobbyists and professionals may not find this unit ideal for their needs, but it offers impressive all-around performance that will be good enough for lightweight printing. Beginners will also find it quite easy to use. The Adventurer 3 comes at a decent price point. But to cater to users in search of an even cheaper printer, Flashforge also produced a light version of this product which comes at less than $300. The Flashforge Adventurer 3, which is the less expensive sibling to the Adventurer 3, is similar to it in terms of basic features. Both units also offer similar print quality, but the Adventurer 3 comes with an integrated webcam and an automated filament runout sensor that is not present on the light version. The Adventurer 3's main selling point has to be the ease of use. We found the removable print surface quite flexible and handy, which makes it quite easy to remove finished prints. The Adventurer also has a touchscreen interface with a clean and intuitive user interface. The tool head features built-in LEDs that illuminate the print area during operation. The unit also features a camera that makes it possible to monitor the printing remotely when printing from the cloud. At Number 3. Creality CR6SA. The CR6SE is a solid starter printer that delivers quite optimally with no stress. It feels a lot like the upgraded Ender 3V2 that it is meant to be. The automatic bed leveling feature performs well, and we found the upgraded extruder equally impressive. If you're in the market for a starter printer that delivers consistently and allows you to do more, then this unit is a good enough upgrade to consider. As mentioned, the CR6SE is basically an improved version of the Ender 3 V2 from Creality, an upgrade of Creality's flagship budget printer, the Ender 3. The Ender 3 V2 features some notable improvements and extra features, but side by side with the CR6SE, it's easy to see which is better. The Creality CR6SE offers more reliable operation. The automatic leveling feature is also absent in the Ender 3, and the CR6SE has a higher print volume. This unit is also often compared to the more expensive AnyCubic Viper. Both units are similar in design and performance, but the CR6SE is slightly costlier. At Number 4. AnyCubic Viper. The AnyCubic Viper is a feature-packed 3D printer that comes at an affordable price point. It is very easy to set up and use, even for a novice. It offers a build volume of 240 by 240 by 265 mm, dual Z-axis screws to keep the print head level during printing, and dual sensors on the Z-axis, which ensure that the first layer is printed properly. You'll find many reviews comparing the AnyCub Viper to Creality's CR6SE printers. Both units have a similar design, and their prices are almost the same. However, the AnyCubic Viper is slightly cheaper. 
It also has a larger build volume and features upgrades over the competitor, such as a better extruder, a removable hotbed that makes it adhere better, and dual Z-axis end stops, which you rarely see in budget printers.